Cardiovascular system Main questions Cardiovascular system provides transport of blood in the body and with blood transported oxygen, nutrients, metabolites, hormones and hundreds other substances. The second function is exchange of substances between blood and tissues. It takes place in blood capillaries only. Cardiovascular system consists of heart, blood vessels and lymphatic vessels. All these organs are of tubular type. They consist of three membranes Entolinit with endothelium, simple squamous epithelium. Blood vessels classified for arteries, veins, and vessels of microcirculatory bed or microvessels. Arteries divided into three types depending on hemodynamic conditions blood stream and blood pressure arteries of elastic type the biggest mixed type and muscular type. Arteries of an elastic type, the aorta and pulmonary trunk. During the systole there is a high speed and pressure of blood. So these arteries should be strong and elastic. During the systole they should enlarge and during diastole return in the initial state. So they pulsing rhythmically as a heart uh, push the blood. The aorta consists of three membranes tunica intima internal tunica media and tunica adventitia. Tunica intima leaning by endothelium consists of very big flat cells Subendothelial layer, quite thick and consists of loose connective tissue. Cholesterol and calcium salts can precipitate it there and produce the atherosclerotic plaques. Tunica media, quite thick. Smooth muscle cells, they are pink. After staining, this hematoxylin and azin. Smooth muscle cells not numerous and between them there are a lot of elastic fibers and membranes up to 70 elastic membranes. They are not stained by hematoxylin and azin visible like light waving line but following specific staining by orsin the elastic fibers and membranes became visible specifically stained by orsin tunica adventitia consists of connective tissue it contains a lot of 
vasovasorum, small blood vessels, this feeding the wall of the water. As well, adipose tissue. Arteries of muscular type consist of three membranes, intima, media, and adventitia. Intima are leaning by endothelium, located at basal membrane, and under it there is a thin subendothelial tissue, consists of loose connective tissue, and then in a elastic membrane, like a ribbon, waving light or light pink line between intima and media. Media consists of many layers of smooth muscle cells, which are located concentrically and slightly on spiral, with few elastic fibers between. The bigger the artery, the thicker these layers, the thicker this membrane, and more layers of small muscle cells there. The outer elastic membrane, not so good pronounced. The adventitial thinner as compared to tunica media. Arteries of a mixed type on the location and structure has the intermediate position between elastic and muscular types. For example, artera subclavia or artera carotis communis. Micro circulatory bed consists of micro vessels, their diameter less than 100 microns, arterioles, they branch in for blood capillaries and collect it into venules. You see that arterioles stain in red contain the arterial blood enriched by oxygen. Then during the, the blood passing inside the blood capillaries, exchange of substances and gases between blood and uh, surrounding cells, tissues take place. The blood uh, leave oxygen and enriched by carbon dioxide. So the, its color became violet on this scheme. Then in veins it's stained blue. The blood flow in blood capillaries thousand times slower as compared to um, blood flow in aorta. As well as transfer section, the square, the summary square of all blood capillaries, thousand times bigger than square of aorta. Summarized length of all blood capillaries of the human body as long as a hundred thousand kilometers. The first component of microcirculatory bed or microvessels is arteriola venula anastomosis or shunts. They bring the blood from arterioles directly to venules outside the capillary network. This way for blood much easier and then the shunt is open, all blood 
enter to the shant and reach the venue. It's necessary for regulation of local blood supply of organs and tissues. Arterioles, capillaries and venules. Arterioles consist of remnants of three membranes. They start from small arterioles and contain thin tunica intima, media and adventitia. Tunica media contain only one, two layers of smooth muscle cells located concentrically. The nuclei located transverse looks like transverse striation. This is a big, middle and couple of small arterioles. This is scan electronogram of arteriole and smooth muscle cells located concentrically are visible quite well. Venules of the same size but contain no striation because contain no smooth muscle cells usually contain a lot of blood. Between arterioles and venules there is a blood capillary, the smallest blood vessels of the body. Usually the diameter about 10 microns, so only one erythrocyte at the same time can go through. So erythrocytes located in line, like chain and they slowly and blood slowly move through the blood capillaries and exchange of substances take place here. Sometimes blood capillaries may be so small contain so small lumen then even one erythrocyte cannot go through. Only blood plasma. It's like reserve capillaries. This picture demonstrates the arterial illustration. Middle is small veins. Blood capillary. And microvessels under scan electron microscopy. Arterial, the network of blood capillaries and vein. Blood capillaries contain three type of cells corresponding to three membranes in blood vessels. From tunica intima there is the layer of endothelial cells. The cytoplasm quite thin and close leaning the inner surface of blood capillaries. In the place where the nucleus located, the thickness of endothelial cell much bigger. Endothelium located at basal membrane, standing right here. Inside basal membrane, there are Another cell, spirocytes, they correspond to the middle membrane of blood vessels, but these are not 
smooth muscle cells. They have epithelium origin, but the function quite similar. They also contain contractile actin and myosin filaments and may contract. They contain the processes and then they contract. They may stop the blood flow in blood capillaries. From the third membrane there is adventitial cells, spindle-like undifferentiated cells located along the blood capillaries. So endothelial cells, the nuclei, parasites, and adventitial cells. Blood capillaries scheme and electron micrograph. In the middle you see the lumen with blood, blood plasma and erythrocyte. Erythrocyte look black under electron microscope. Blood plasma and platelet. The wall of blood capillary consists of endothelial cells in this scheme. It leaning by two cells, the nuclei and cytoplasm connected. In this picture, only one cell, this nucleus and cytoplasm, leaning the lumen of blood capillary. Parasite, no parasite available. Here, adventitial cell, it's here. This scan, electron micro photogram, demonstrate the parasites in the capillary wall. Parasite has long processes which surrounding and cellular cells leaning of blood capillary. So if they will contract, they can stop blood flow in capillary. So they may regulate the blood flow in blood capillaries by the contraction and relaxation. This is a transverse section and uh, transmission electron microscopy, myocardium. This is a lumen, a red blood cell. This is a wall of blood capillary, and a cell cell, this nucleus, and thin cytoplasm. There are three types of blood capillaries, continuous, or somatic in skeletal muscle, skin, brain they are the most numerous in the body their diameter up to 10 microns only one erythrocyte it can be inside at the same time visceral fenestrated in inner organs in kidney, stomach, intestine, glands, quite the same size, but endothelial cells in basal membrane contain holes for better exchange of substances between blood and organs. At that time, a perforated sinusoidal capillary the diameter up to 30 microns and endothelial cells contain the big holes and clefts between cells. Such capillaries available 
in the liver, in the red bone marrow, spleen. They scan electron microphotogram after freeze fracturing of endothelial cells. This is a surface of endothelial cells. This is a borderline between two cells. And numerous pores available here. Transport of substances through the capillary wall. The endothelial cells cytoplasm, yellow, here. This is a diffusion of small molecules like gases, ions, small lipids, water, by diffusion between blood and surrounding cells and tissues. The quick and better diffusion through the fenestres and pores and through the intercellular clefts can leave the bloodstream or entate the blood cells. And this point demonstrate the transport of substances by pinocytosis. The droplets of blood plasma covered by cell membranes and transported through the cell and open and substances release and can reach the surrounding cells. The barrier between blood and tissues called the gistogematic barrier. Every organ has some specificities of that. For example, this is a blood-brain barrier between blood of brain blood vessels and nerve cells of the brain. It is represented by endothelium of blood capillaries and processes of astrocytes. The aerogematic barrier, the barrier between the air in alveoles and blood and blood capillaries of lung for gas exchange. This is a normal capillary network. This is a sinusoid blood capillaries network between arterioles and vein. And this uh, unusual capillaries network between two arterioles or between two venules. Example is kidney. Example of this one is the liver. Veins compared to arteries contain much thinner middle muscle membrane. Only two, three layers of smooth muscle cells, even in veins of muscular type, as compared to artery of muscular type. Veins contain no elastic membranes, media quite thinner, adventitia much thicker than an arteries and much thicker than middle membrane. Vascular nerve taft consists of artery, usually two corresponding veins, and nerve. Compare the structure of vein and artery. 
In addition to the above mentioned, veins contain valves. Veins usually flat and arterioles round. Veins much more often contain the blood, arteries not. Classification of veins two groups without muscles and contain muscles. Muscle types veins may be with weak, middle or strong development of muscle cells. It's typical for legs. Lymphatic vessels drain the tissues of the body, remove the tissue fluid and return it into the venous blood. They start these blind blood capillaries. They like open sacs and tissue fluid enter it and lymph initially and just interstitial fluid. The limbs flow through regional lymphatic follicles where they purify and enrich these lymphocytes, then bigger and bigger vessels and finally two biggest lymphatic vessels enter the big veins near the neck. So lymph originate from blood and return into the blood. The heart consists of two atricles and two ventricles and left ventricle contain much thicker wall because of more intensive work. The heart wall consists of three membranes, internal membrane or inner membrane called endocardium, very thick middle membrane called myocardium and outer membrane called epicardium. The inner membrane endocardium leaning by the endothelium and epicardium leaning by mesothelium, simple squamous epithelium. At the higher magnification, you can see endocardium and myocardium. Endocardium consists of three layers, endothelial layer, sub endothelial layer, myoelastic layer, consists of small muscle cells and elastic fibers, and subendocardial layer, which sometimes contain Purkinje fibers, belong to conductive system of the heart. And myocardium consists of typical cardiomyocyte contractile, which connected by the ends through the intercalated discs. And there are also anastomoses between functional muscle fibers. And between muscle fibers around them, there is a loose connective tissue with blood vessels. These feeding the cardiac muscle. In the heart myocardium, there are three types of cells. The main type contractile or typical cardiomyocytes. Every cell contains one nucleus in the center. And you see anastomosis between fibers. 
Conductive system of heart consists of typical cardiomyocytes which compose the sinus node, atrioventricular node, GIS bundles which branching for smaller branches or Purkinje fibers which convey excitation to typical contractile cardiomyocytes. There is also third type secretory cardiomyocytes located in myocardium of arteries of the heart and the substance decrease blood pressure. Atypical cardiomyocytes of sinus nodule consist of uh, small atypical cardiomyocytes, few myofibrils not able to contract, but excited periodically generate impulses, so they call pacemaker. Cardiomyocytes of atrioventricular nodule. It's um, bigger as compared to pacemaker neurons. Then bundle of GIS consists of bigger atypical cardiomyocytes and branches of GIS bundle consist of big Pukinje fibers. This slide demonstrates as a sinus nodule in uh, heart. They can generate excitation and impulses every second, partly autonomically, but you can see between a huge amount of nerve fibers belong to autonomic nerve system. So the conductive system of heart is under control of autonomic nerve system. And inside the heart wall you can find the typical nervous ganglion.